Kathy writes me about a close friend of hers who apparently uh, has a, a long-term uh, mental illness. Uh, her friend is uh, a successful writer and editor, but quite often there's a long drought between jobs, and uh, when she's waiting for a new job, things go downhill for her. Kathy wrote a thing that I wrote which said as follows, and she, uh, and she was very uh, moved by it. I wrote that people who were chronically mentally ill benefited more from poverty strategies than formal psychiatric therapies. I started working on improved housing and other opportunities for the chronically mentally ill. Kathy says that that really resonated with her, and she asks me, how do we help her friend in a way that is sustainable, where do we look to get started? Well, one thing to consider, Kathy, is that apparently a major trigger for your friend's mental illness is when there's a long period between jobs. Would it be possible for you and your friend to explore her getting a more steady job in the writing and editing field? Let's say a uh, uh, a half-time job for a newspaper or for a journal or for a university publication or with a company that has uh, uh, that writes PR documents. Uh, that way she uh, could still have time left over for uh, her uh, freelance uh, jobs which she apparently enjoys very much but the steady source of income might help uh, uh, break up that pattern of uh, getting discouraged and, and uh, uh, having a recurrence of mental illness in the long dry spells between jobs. Give that a try and let me know uh, what, uh, what success you have.